Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here with a hopefully short guide on how to find Moondew Nectar, which is in my inventory here in slot one. Moondew Nectar. Um, I'll just show you in the map where we're going to go. We're going to start off here, head over this way. Now, you, you have to first feed the um, cotton gordo that's usually here to unlock this uh, teleporter that goes from here down to here. And then we're going to travel along here all the way to where this flutter gordo is. There's some trees here. Now you'll want to travel near the afternoon. So I'm actually going to sleep till evening here. Not until night because I, I'm going to have to do some traveling, but uh, we're going to sleep for six hours here. Uh, maybe, maybe another six here. It's probably a little bit late in the day, but um, hopefully it works out. Now I do have a bit of a chicken infestation, <laughs> as you can see. I put a few chickens outside my uh, my uh, base, and the, you know what? I'm gonna sleep till morning. Because <laughs> uh, by the time we get there, it's gonna be too late at night. So let's sleep. At, uh, let's sleep until morning. Yeah, should be good. So maybe leave in the morning, depending on how fast you think you're gonna get over there. Yeah, I'm gonna do another video about these chickens. A little bit crazy. So the um, the moon. Moon glow, what is it called? Moon dew nectar is food for the uh, flutter slimes, um, but I recommend not feeding it to them. It's probably better to uh, build a largo out of them with something like a slime that eats meat or vegetables, because you'll want to save your your moon <laughs> moon dew nectar for um, feeding to the the gordo. Okay, I'm getting lost here already. I'm going this way. And yeah, I'm probably going to get lost. We're heading over here. Hopefully I uh, go the right way. I want to show the full route over to there though. Just to make sure everyone can see. I think we go down through here. I'm not 100% sure, but... Yeah, there's the portal up there. Like I said, you do have to feed the uh, cotton gordo in order to get this activated. And now we are in the Starlight Strand. And we're just going to head this way, south, all the way to here. Now the, the dew only appears at night after about 5.36 p.m. And it appears in uh, trees. So hopefully uh, enough time passes by here on the way. It might not. <laughs> but I can show you where they spawn. Well, some priests up here. I better get this one here. Gotta get that free money. Okay, we're heading this way. Just follow the road. Now you'll probably want the jetpack for this. Because there's a, uh, it's pretty high up where the where the gordo is, and that's where some of the uh, the dew is. Probably also want to wa want that water cannon in case in case you get an infestation like this. I got I gotta kill these guys. I, I don't like them. <laughs> They're mean. Okay, here we go. We're heading through here or around here somehow. Uh, we can go up this way, I think. Yeah, we got the jetpack. That's quite a bit of energy, so this is the way I go up. Through this little portal here. I think there's other ways around, but this is the way I go. You'll find hunter slimes in here, so be careful. They'll attack you unless you feed them meat, and they turn invisible, which is kind of cool. So heading along. It's still early in the morning, so... Might have to uh, fast forward a little bit here. This is also where you're gonna find honey. Okay, where are we? We're almost there. Okay, you'll know you're there when you see this giant portal looking thing and up there is the flutter gordo. So let's just see here. I, I can find some of these trees that I'm talking about. I'm gonna try to get up there so it's uh, so you guys can see with a better view. The way I usually get up is kind of over here. Uh, do we want to go around the back or can we go from here? Uh, let's see. I'll probably go around the back here. So we are right here right now.
Now, if you do see flutter slimes, they will eat. They will eat this dew if it appears. Okay, which way should I go? Up there. Um, hmm. I think I'll go over this way. Hopefully I have enough energy to do this. I think I will. Oh, that was crazy. Look at all those guys just fly out of there. Crazy. Now, there's some cool stuff down there, but that's not what this video is about. Here, here we go. Flutter sl slime. Now, you want might want to pick these guys up. One, to collect them, but also to make sure that they don't eat the dew. Because they're the only ones that'll eat the dew. And I'm going to head up this way. So we can get a really good view of, of, the, of the area. Now, you can see those blue flowers on the trees. That's where the dew appears. And like I said, it only happens at night, so we're going to have to wait for night time. Uh, there's another one right down there, right below. Now, this is a good place to always get one because nothing's here to eat the dew. But there's one over there, and then there's a... This whole area over here has some trees that have these flowers on them as well. So we'll fast forward until it's nighttime. Okay, so it's uh, 18.30 military time now, 6.30. And we can see over there, I can see one of the the nectar and that flower there and that flower there. It hasn't popped in that one yet. It hasn't shown up in this one yet, but uh, sometimes they fall down. And now you also find honey in here as well. Okay, so there's one up there. See that flower up there? We're gonna try to get up there. And here, is this honey or is this wax? This is the wax. The honey does spawn near here, but let's just get this, this honeydew before, before it falls off the branch here. Okay, so we are we're here up up here. There's a bit of a stretch to get up here, but here's the nectar. That's one of them. And there should be another one down below that flower there. Here's another one in the water here. So it fell down probably from that tree there. Here's another one here. On the ground below another tree. So they fall off the branch after a while. So we're just under the uh, Flutter Gordo. You can see him up there. And there's some honey just below here. It looks a lot like the wax, same kind of shape, but uh, definitely a different a different uh, thing, different resource. Okay, I only found three, but there's definitely spawn points for at least five or six in this area. We're gonna head over to this area here to try to find some more. Okay, we're over by the uh, other flutter slimes here, and I'm gonna pick them up so they don't eat any, any nectar accidentally. And here we are at the ringtail gordo. This is on the other side. This is where we'll hopefully find some other nectar. Collect these guys up here. So, oh, there's so there, here's one right here on the limb on the tree. It's about to fall off. I think it just fell down. So there's a lot of spawn points here. Uh, there's one there, that flower, the blue flower, and there's another one there, another one there, and there's one up there, and there's one that's fallen off the leaf there, so let's go over and get these ones. If we can get up there, yeah, oh, almost, and I fell. <laughs> Here's one on the ground that fell <laughs> from up there, that flower there. And we're going to go for that one up there. So to sum things up, you want to travel over to this area in the evening and then look for these blue flowers and that's where the uh, nectar will spawn. And that's one in the flower right there, like that. So hopefully that helps you guys. If, you, if it did, hit that like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe. I'm going to be ha uh, coming up with more guides shortly about Slime Rancher 2.